What's up guys, we are back on Pokemon Showdown for episode 1 of Road to Rank 1 where I try my best to get to number 1 on the ladder. Uh, I've actually just completed the Road to Top 10 series. I know a lot of you guys were giving me support to do this, which is cool. That's what I asked for to see if um, people wanted me to do this and there was a hell of a lot of support. So I'm definitely going for Rank 1. Now unfortunately, I'm on this thing called Tilt. Um, Basically, I'm losing a lot of games after winning a bunch of games, and I can't seem to keep winning. Uh, I can't seem to win. And uh, tilt, well, tilt's happening to me when I'm on the uh, when I'm at school, basically, not when I'm trying to record. So, yeah, this is my first time trying to record after um, losing a bunch just off screen. As you guys can see, I am 18-14, so lost about 100 something points since last time. I've actually been going back and forth between 1800 to 1950 and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but that's what Toad is. So, yeah, thank you everybody for the continued support. Hope you continue to like this series. Leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, yeah, here's to, um, you know, more episodes for you guys because I'm definitely lower than I should have been. And uh, actually, if you guys didn't know, uh, yesterday, Thursday, May 15th was the fourth, well, the four year anniversary of my channel. Uh, May 15th, 2010, I made my channel, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that I'm four years in, doing pretty well. I'm happy with where I am. You know, always shooting for more, but you know, I love my fans, and even when they're obnoxious, I love them. <laughs> and yeah, let me just look for a battle right here. Just basically, just trying to rank up a bit before I get really serious with teams. So this team is a one, two, three, four, five, six team. I don't know if you guys know about it, but essentially, I go into every single mod in the order that they're put out right here. Because this one breaks for this one, this one breaks for this one, etc, etc, etc. So, just going to pause it until I find a battle. Alright, so we have a battle versus an opposing hyper-offensive team, or offensive team rather. I'm going to be leading off with my Tyranitar choice, because it is number one. And I have a Focus Sash, I can live any hit from his Deoxys if he wants to lead off with that. Cody is also a good lead choice for him, but I'm thinking more so Deoxys because I can easily get up Stealth Rocks. But, like I said, Cody is also a good lead for him. Also Con Calder right here, so I'm going to go right for my rocks as, um, unfortunately I won't be able to play the team in order this game, simply because, uh, <laughs> simply because, uh, Excadrill will also go down to Con Calder, so, yeah. I uh, ends up going right for the Drain Punch as, uh, that'll be able to, you know, bring me down to my Sash. I'm going to go for Crunch just in case he wants to go for Knock Off. I really don't want to go out to Pinsir and take any unnecessary damage, so from here on out, I should be able to go out to Pinsir and honestly get a kill. Pinsir just kills, uh... Or knocks out rather, because Pokemon don't die unless you, unless they die. <laughs> but uh, either way, I should be able to go right out to Pinsir, Mega Evolve, and um, go right for the frustration as he has no switch-ins. Uh, even if Mawile comes in after, even if the minus one from Intimidate Earthquake can knock him out. So go right for the uh, Mega Evolution frustration. Kind of surprised that he actually didn't go for Mach Punch just to get off any bit of chip damage on me. So now. Um, he does go out to Mawau. Uh, Mawau is definitely a threat. I kind of just want to sack my Excadrill right here uh, to the Play Rough. Or even if he goes for SD, predicting my switch. But he ends up going right for the Play Rough. Now, um, what I want to do is uh, go out into my um, Greninja, predicting the Sucker Punch right here. And if I get off any damage on this thing, I'm in a good enough range to where I can... Uh, Knock him out with like priority Braver or something. So that's my game plan right there. So I'm gonna go right for the hydro pump. Hopefully I hit. I'm actually um, I haven't hit a lot of hydro pumps uh, recently, but that goes along with being on tilt, as uh, luck also is a factor right there. So I'm gonna right for hydro pump. It should do about um, 80 something percent. Do I have hydro pump? Oh no, I guess somebody's talking about hyper cutter right there. But uh, either way, we're gonna pause it until he decides to make a move. By the way, uh, by me going for hydro pump, it ensures that if he actually does end up sacking his Deoxys what was I trying to say? me going for Hydro Pump even though he'll be able to knock me out well he ends up going out to Keldeo though um, unfortunately I missed my Hydro Pump and Hydro Pump plus Aqua Jet uh, Aqua Jet <laughs> Hydro Pump plus Hidden Power Grass easily knock it out but unfortunately I missed Hydro Pump so I'm gonna have to sack my Excadrill right here um, he could also predict my Extressionary if he thinks I have it but uh, it looks like he doesn't really fear it I wanted to ensure that I can just spam Brave Bird and win the game. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. So, I'm going to go right for the uh, Brave Bird with my Talonflame. He could potentially switch on to Mawa. I don't really feel like trying to predict that, though, as Brave Bird. We'll get off any chip damage. And uh, basically, I'm not going out to the Pokemon in order, but 
the Pokemon damage for other Pokemon to be able to come through, if that makes sense. Like, this breaks for this, like I said. So, um, Talonflame going for Brave Bird. I'll probably be able to knock out his Deoxys Speed if he chooses to sack it. I'm not sure if he wants to try and leave that in. I already brought out my Talonflame, so him getting up Stealth Rocks or anything, I don't think that's going to be an option. So, yeah, he does not sacking his Deoxys Speed right here as, um... I'm in a decent position, he doesn't have rocks, which means I'll be able to freely switch in and out. And, um, yeah, like I said, I want to be able to get off that damage on any Pokemon. So he ends up going out to Mawile. Now, I definitely could save uh, Talonflame. I'm thinking about doing it, actually, because uh, now what it means I could do is um, I could sack. I can definitely just sack my uh, Greninja right here to this play rough and um, go right out into my Mega Pinsir and... What I actually want to do is go for the Frustration, predicting him to predict my um, Earthquake. That is kind of risky though, but I want to go for it, so I'm going to go for Frustration. It also ensures that I put him in range where, um, well it would also mean that I could put him in range where uh, another attack can knock him out, but or basically where Braver would knock him out. But uh, he ends up sacking his Keldeo, which is a safer play, I don't think Keldeo would be doing too much this battle. As now he ends up going after his Talonflame, unfortunately I don't have Fane on this thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sack my, um, not really sack my Dragonite, but I'm gonna go out to my Dragonite as um, as I do have the priority extreme speed. And what I can do is go right for that, as that will be able to knock him out. And now he does have this Mawile, it is a threat, yes, definitely. But uh, what I can do is just spam extreme speeds and then spam Brave Birds to the point where I can spam Cook Attacks if he tries and sets up on me, basically. But he ends up going out to Digger's B, though. Oh my god, I did not mean to say it like that. <laughs> Wow, uh, either way I should be able to go right for the Bandit Extreme Speed as um, that'll be able to bring him down to a point where I believe I can go out into my Pinsir and go right for the Quick Attack, but I don't really want to risk that. So I'm going to go out into my, um, I'm going to go out into my Talonflame just in case he, uh, just in case he's like Scarf or something. I didn't want to go out to my Pinsir. And what I'm actually going to do is just go right for the Tailwind. Uh, predicting him to um, just in case he was Scarf basically so Tailwind ensures that I can go out to Pinsir and that I can go right for the uh, frustration and knock him out like I said just in case his uh, Diggers be with Scarf and the way he's playing I'm thinking it might actually be Scarf so now what I can do is um, knock out this Mawile with the Earthquake I'm pretty sure I'll be able to knock him out with the Earthquake so ends up going right for the Sucker Punch I guess that was his fairest play but he ends up living the uh, Earthquake, I think that was a really low roll, right? That was actually a super low roll, doing 76% hell yeah, but uh, either way, I'll be able to go right for the quick attack, and that will be able to knock him out. I'm actually going to calc that right now, so just to show that it was, I, I'm pretty sure that was a low roll because I've died from like almost 80 something percent. So uh, let me see, Mega Pinsir, Mega Pinsir, and uh, Mega Moal. Yeah, oh, that was uh, actually a decently high roll. Um, I don't really encounter Mega Mawile that runs 252 HP though, just because uh, you need speed to be like Aegis Slash and like other certain threats, but uh, either way, able to uh, knock him out as, um, yeah, I'm fine by that. <laughs> I don't care if it's by Chokes. Uh, I guess it's not really Chokes. He kind of is. is it, nah, that was a bad player. I was quite sure it was a Either way, um, that's fine by me. Oh, uh, wait, don't want to that team yet. Um, let's look for another battle and uh, continue going on. So, this guy's a pretty cool team. Uh, he has Mega Heracross and uh, Porygon, which is annoying. He also has Conkeldur. Porygon, I say that's annoying because uh, it just eats up hits from everything. So, it's a lean off with Azumarill, which is um, fair, as now I'll be able to go for my Stealth Rocks with my Tyranitar because I'll be able to live any one hit. Ends up bringing me down to my Sash, so he, um, he might actually be choice banded. I have not run into choice banded Zuma for a while, but I might actually be choice banded because he took me down to my sash. So, either way, yeah, he ends up going right for the waterfall again. I think he would have went for Aqua Jet if he wasn't choice banded, but uh, I should be able to go right out into my Excadrill. And I want to go for the Iron Head because uh, I'm not expecting him to want to stay in. Priority Aqua Jet is definitely nice in this battle. I'm expecting either um, Latios or uh, Talonflame to want to come in. Latios, I don't think, made too much sense, though, even though he did bring it in, just because, um, I still had Sand for another turn, but, either way, I'm gonna go right for the Rapid Spin, as uh, I get a Rapid Spin kill, that was the only reason why I went for that, right there, as I get that Rapid Spin kill, as now he's more than likely gonna wanna go out into his, uh, Azumaro, just a revenge kill, but he ends up going out to Heracross, though, um, which is, I don't agree with that play, because, uh, I'll be able to go right for the Iron Head and do a hell of a lot of damage to him, 
and he'll only be able to knock me out. And I also had that chance to flinch right there. So, two goes down. I think everybody knows what that means. That means it's time to go out into uh, three right here and uh, go right for the Ice Beam. Only thing I'm scared about is Protean Porygon. Holy crap, that'd be annoying, but I'm gonna go right for the Ice Beam right here as he ends up going out to his Porygon 2. And like I said, this Protean thing is gonna be annoying. Definitely gonna be annoying. Um, I'm not sure how I want to play around this though. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump. Hopefully he goes for like a uh, electric attack that's not T Wave, but yellow color. That's kind of uh, annoying right there. But uh, I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam as he ends up going for the Recover. And Porygon is just an annoying threat. I'm just basically trying to weaken this thing so I can come through with my Mega Pinsir right here. I guess he doesn't lose too much by going right for the um, recover and spamming it, but I don't know. I don't think I would have done that. I'm actually going to switch out my, um, I'm going to skip right to 6, switch out my Greninja just in case he wants to go for the uh, recover right there, and I believe what I'll do is go right for the Outrage, just trying to get off a hell of a lot of damage on this thing as he ends up going after the T-Wave. Uh, because of that crit, I might actually be able to knock him out depending on the rolls. Um, ends up switching out his Porygon. Don't really know if I agree with that because rocks are up and he has no spinner, but either way now I'll be able to go right back down to three. Just, uh, you know, going back down to the numbers, uh, sacking uh, Greninja, as now I can go right back to the proper order and uh, go out to my Mega Pinsir, Mega Evolve, and go right for Frustration as that'll easily be able to knock out the Azumarill. So, Mega Pinsir looking like it's going to be able to clean up. Unfortunately, I have to switch around for his Talonflame right here. Um, you generally don't go into the Pokemon just to die after another Pokemon has went down, but... Yeah, now I'll be able to go out to my Talonflame, uh, which is 5, sack it, and uh, I'll be able to go out to 6 as he ends up going for the bulk up. Okay, so he is threatening right here, um, but uh, either way I should be able to go out for the Brave Bird. I'm not sure how much speed he's running. If he outspeeds me though, that's fine because I do have priority uh, plus 2. I do have the Extreme Speed, which is higher priority than Brave Bird, so I'll be able to go out for that, uh, worst comes to worst. So. Right here, he might just go for Roost. I don't really know what item he has. He might have Life Orb. He said, oh my god, wrong item. So, he might have Life Orb right there. Either way, he ends up forfeiting. Um, yeah, that's that's fine by me. I'm happy that the team is doing well, though. First one, kind of, the guy made a bad play at the end. And uh, the second battle, no comments. But now we're facing, well, now we're facing Deal Sharp um, with no Spin Blocker, which is fine because now I can uh, basically lead T-Tar and uh, spam crunch. I don't think he's gonna wanna... I'll, if he leaves off of Deoxys, I'm pretty sure he's gonna wanna taunt me because if I get up rocks, that ensures that uh, Dragonite is multi-scale is broken. Though he does have his... Um, he does have Scizor, so that might actually be... That might actually be a Mega Scizor with Defox. So I'm gonna go for my rocks right here. He's gonna go right for the Earthquake, bringing me down to my Sash. And all I'm actually gonna do is go for Fire Blast because if he does have extreme speed, he can knock me out anyway. And Fire Blast will be able to knock out Scizor if he doesn't bring that in. So that's why I ended up going for Fire Blast. He doesn't bring in Scizor, and uh, bam, Scizor goes down, which means no defog for him as I'm able to knock out that threat right there. So that was cool. I was able to knock out that threat, and um, now I'm looking at the rest of his team. Only threats I'm looking at are like this sharp, but I do have so much priority. And um, for Fable, it was kind of a threat, but I do have Iron Head, so it was cool that I was able to knock out that Scizor as it means he won't be able to go for BPs when I become a nice type or I'm um, just on my Dragon anyway. And he doesn't have a Steel type now to come in, barring Bisharp, but I don't really count Bisharp because Bisharp isn't as bulky as Scizor is. Uh, either way, now he ends up going out to his Fable. Uh, gonna go right for Crunch as, um, unless he's like a stored power variant, I don't think I'm worried about it, so. To go right for the Moon Blast, he's able to knock me out as I should be able to go right out into my um, Excadrill. And I don't want to go for Iron Head, I'm actually going to go for the Earthquake just in case he wants to bring in like Caldeo or something. I can live a Flamethrower from this thing anyway, so I'm going to go right for Earthquake just in case he wants to bring in Caldeo. Uh, if Dragonite comes in though, that's fine because I do have Rock Slide after that. He has Fire Blast though and he gets a crit. I'm actually thinking that that crit mattered, but um, that's completely fine that he got it. I can't control that. So now I can go out into my uh, Greninja and go right for the Ice Beam, which will be able to knock out this uh, Clefable, because I do become Ice type, of course. And it also does a lot to everything. If it goes out to Keldeo, Ice for Grass knocks it out after. Um, the only thing I'm looking at that's annoying is his Deoxys defense. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to do much about him getting up rocks, which is annoying, in all honesty. Uh, that's definitely annoying, but um, go, go out to Mega Pinsir, because even if he does paralyze me, 
Um, I don't think I'm in the worst of position, so he can definitely paralyze me right here. I'm gonna go for SD anyway, uh, just in case he tries to paralyze me. I rather I rather be able to knock him out afterwards and quick attack to do damage to everything, knock out Caldeo if I break through um, Parafusion right there. So I kind of want to get greedy and go for a second uh, SD, as that would ensure that I'd be able to knock out Dragonite with the quick attack. But I, I don't think it's worth it uh, at this point. So I'm gonna go right for the return as um, he ends up going right for um, seismic toss. I don't think I don't know why I right for frustration. And I'm sorry if I kept saying return with this pincer. I have frustration on it. <laughs> this pincer is angry. Does not love me as you guys can tell. But um, yeah, looking like uh, Dragonite might actually be the thing that seals the game for me. So kind of like calc the damage that he can do with any one of his attacks, but. Same time I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for the well Iron Head and Sucker and Punch are the same you know, anyway. So I'm gonna go for Earthquake right here as I end up living the Iron Head because Mega Pinch is so bulky, break through the chance of flinching and the chance of paralysis, knock out the Bisharp. Uh, one of the bigger threats to because um, it can knock out Greninja and things like that. But I need to go out to his Dragonite, and I'm pretty sure this thing is banded, so yeah, he's definitely banded. I've already it's already been shown that my Dragonite will outspeed his because my uh, Tyranitar outsped him and I'll be able to live one um, I'll be able to live the uh, one extreme speed so and to go out to Keldeo, um don't really agree with that but at the same time he really had no play that he could go for now he just has to hope that he can uh, crit me with extreme speed at this point and unfortunately I can't switch out just in case that happens so he doesn't end up critting me as I'll be able to knock him out with the uh, outrage and that is a good game so climbing back up the ladder I'm climbing back up the ladder. I've already got three battles and it's been 16 minutes. Kind of want to make this a shorter episode just because um, it's 2:30 a.m. and I have class tomorrow morning. But I, I guess I'll get one more battle until, uh, and then after that I'll end it. So I'm gonna pause it real quick until I find one. Playing another uh, offensive team. I'm gonna lead off with, of course, my um, Tyranitar just because I'll be able to get up my rocks and uh, also set up the sand for extra drill as uh, he lead off with his Deoxys. I kind of want to try and go for my Stealth Rocks right here. He might just taunt me, uh, but he actually doesn't end up outspeeding me. That's kind of peculiar. Uh, but uh, either way, I might actually just save her, um, I might actually just save my... Uh, I'm probably going to save my T-Tar this battle. Obviously, I had no choice right there because of uh, the red card. But uh, I want to save T-Tar because uh, with the speed, I'll be able to knock out basically everything. Um, this thing. So I'm going to go right for Ice Beam as it should be able to knock out this thing. Because of his stab, he's actually especially defensive though. So <laughs> I like how that worked out for him right there that he went for the uh, Fire Punch. That's pretty funny actually. Uh, but either way, now he's going to go out to his Infernape. Uh, probably has the Mock Punch. Uh, I can save this for his... Um... Well, I want to scout if he's... If he doesn't go for Mock Punch and he outspeeds me, I'll be able to scout if he's Scarf or not. So I'm going to go right for the Hydro Pump anyway. As he ends up going right for the U-turn, so it doesn't, um, you know, reveal to me that he has Scarf, which is um, definitely good to know. Definitely good to know right here. As he ends up going out to Landorus, though, so uh, Landorus is threatening. Landorus is definitely threatening, and I misclicked and clicked Pincer, of course. Uh, I was just scrolling through my Pokemon, but uh, either way, I should be able to Mega Evolve. I think I can live one hit, but yeah, I kind of want to just. Uh, that sucks that I misclicked Pincer. I want to go, I'm just going to Mega Evolve and go for Frustration as I go down to the Sludge Wave. So that really sucked that I missed Click Pincer because what I plan was to do was go right out into my Talon Flame and um, just go right for the Brave Bird at this point. But I now want to go for Flare Blitz just in case he brings out. Well, I guess Manetric was what I was thinking right there. But uh, no, he ends up going out to his Azumarill. Uh, I still have to, I have to play this better if I want to win this. Right, so... I kind of have to go out to T-Tar right here just to get up the sand once again, as that'll help me versus the um, that'll help me versus the Azumarill and stuff like that. So ends up having the Citrus Berry, ends up being the Citrus Berry variant. So um, he's able to knock me out with the second Aqua Jet. It really sucks that I misclicked Pinsir right there, but I, I guess I can't really complain too much about you know my own fault. So go over for the Iron Head right here just in case he wants to bring in his Landers. Um, Iron Head also will be able to knock out the Azumarill in conjunction with the sand. So able to knock him out and I still do have a decent chance of winning because I'll be able to get off a rapid spin on any one of his mons um yeah be able to get off a rapid spin he ends up going out to his landers though uh gonna definitely go right for the rapid spin right here as opposed to going for like an iron head or something 
as he's going after the earth power. So, what I can do now is go right on to my Talon Flame and uh, definitely just spam the uh, Brave Bird at this point. Um, my win condition now is uh, spamming Extreme Speed. So, that'll be my win condition, especially after I get off this damage on his uh, Manetric. So, yeah, as he ends up mega evolving. So, um,. Yeah, my, like I said, my win condition is spamming extreme speeds as it will be able to to a KO and Oko everything on his team. Uh, Infinite might actually be able to live, but I don't think Infinite can do too much. So go right for the extreme speed, knock this thing out. As I'm um, thinking, Alexam might want to come out. It's more likely Sash Alexam. I'm pretty sure Infinite can live this just barely, but I think can live it. Actually, no. I want to do the calc because back in um, back in DPP. Infernape was able to live Bandit Extreme Speeds if I remember correctly, but I could be just, you know, I could have just forgotten, so he might also be hasty. That might have been a thing right there, so I'm gonna go for, <laughs> gonna go for the Calc. Nice and powerful Calc, as it is my best play, as you guys can see. <laughs> and, uh, plus one, Extreme Speed. Yeah, that was either a really high roll, like I said, I wasn't expecting to knock him out, or he was, uh, hasty, as hasty has, uh, the, the better chance of knocking him out. I'm gonna go for more that he was hasty. Unless this thing has uh, counter, which is, you know, counter sash isn't necessarily bad, um, we'll be able to live any hits. So, D Knight able to uh, finish off the game right here after, you know, my misclick and stuff like that. But that was, um, I'm happy that I was able to come back from that. And at that, I'm just going to leave it, guys. So, yeah, it's 2.30 a.m., 2.32. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys continue to enjoy the series as I climb to rank one. I'll be using different teams. I won't be using hyper offense. I'm just using it for now. Or offense, rather. Bird spam, basically. Bird spam plus sand. And, uh, yeah, continue to show that support. And until next time, guys, later.